Hey, what up there, guys? Um, I have a very, very short video for you today. Probably five minutes. Ten at the outside, if I get overexcited. Um, and this is solely for those of you who um, have expressed an interest in my programming work, especially the programming work I did, um, you know, uh, decades ago. Whoops. Um... I'll tell you about it as we launch this. Okay. Um, and before I even tell you about this, I want to just remind people, of course, that this is de this is work I did decades ago. This was probably made 24, 25 years ago, something like that. 1996 is my guess. Um, it must have been at least 1996 because that's when I made DHL, and this was made before DHL. Um, but to fill people in on the current work I'm doing of course I do have a game that just went up on Steam at least the the Steam page is now active as of last week called Stop the Saturnians if you want to give that a look um, maybe wishlisted I'd be your best friend if you did that for me that'd be cool um, in terms of current work I just uh, spent the last couple of days working on getting the achievements the Steam achievements up and running thinking that would be really hard turns out it was quite easy and a lot of fun I had, I had a lot of fun the last couple of days just playing the game and unlocking achievements that was really cool and then yesterday I set about the task of um, trying to improve load times because admittedly they were quite long. Going to combat took on my machine sometimes 20, 21 seconds to load. Um, I thought maybe if I work my ass off I can, you know, bring that down to 5% 5, 5 of, well, I can bring it down by 5% or maybe 10% is my, was my thought. But um, after some effort I got it down by 90%. 90 frickin' percent. I took it from a 20 second load time to a 2 second load time. I can't believe that. But that is not what we're here to discuss today. We are here to discuss a little program called 13 Art. Now, back when I made my games, uh, in the old days, it was the days of DOS, and either there were no graphics editors a la Photoshop, or if there were, I, I, I clearly didn't know about them. Or if I did know about them, I, I probably couldn't afford them, because I was very, very broke individual back then. Um, but ever resourceful, so I made my own graphics editors, and that's what we're looking at today, is a graphics editor that I made to utilize my own graphics formats to create the graphics for my games 25-ish years ago. Um, you can see it's quite rudimentary. Uh, we have a mouse here, we can see our X and Y coordinates up here, we can move the mouse around, and we can press a button to draw a line. Um, if we were to press C, uh, and now it's asking us for color. Now, there is no color palette to choose from. I didn't have that kind of um, skill set back then. You had to actually know what color you wanted. What we're working on right here is 256 colors, 320 by 200 VGA, um, which means there are 256 options to type into the above. I know for a fact number four is red. And I know for a fact number three is green. No, I guess I don't know that for a fact, do I? Joke's on me, it's some sort of teal or cyan or something. Um, I'm reasonably familiar <coughs> pardon me, with the first 16 colors, simply because uh, before I made 13 art, I made art, uh, art.exe. And that was because before I got to DHL, uh, which, we, which we have up on the channel here, Death Hockey League was one of the games we, I showcased uh, last week. Before I made that in 1996, I was working solely in 640 by 480 16 color um, graphics. So I had memorized what the 16 colors were. Um, I don't have all 256 colors memorized here. I have no idea what 253 is. Apparently it's, well, apparently it's invisible. Um, color 161? That's some sort of beige -ish. 263 is probably something close to black. It's probably why we couldn't see it. Um, there is more functionality, of course, than just pressing this. I think I think if you hold down the right bumper, I think you can erase. Yeah, holding down the right the right uh, that right bumper, the right mouse button allows you to erase anything you've done. That's kind of cool. Left mouse uh, lets you draw. Um, there is also, of course, a load functionality. Um, let's try, for instance, load wall twenty eight dot sin. What is the size? You actually had to know the byte size of the of the file you're trying to load. If you didn't know it, let's try it right here. Let's try and put in like the wrong byte size. Oh, it still worked. Uh, if you put in too small a byte size, I think it might screw up. I'm not sure. But there you go. Um, that is a wall that I drew for Season of the Scythe. 
um, back in the days of yore. Um, we, we also looked at Season of the Scythe on this channel earlier. Obviously there were more wall textures than we saw during our playthrough there. I don't remember what all of them were, and we're not going to walk through them all now. There's no point. Um, but I do know that they're here in this directory because we're in the Season of the Scythe uh, directory. Load orn.29 no, orn29.sin. Um, back then, just so you know, in addition to the textures I used for walls and that, I made ornaments, which were textures that you could slap over textures to give it, um, you know, some extra, uh, whoops, extra awesomeness. There's that, we saw that symbol on the wall of one of the houses. Um, so all this was graphics I created uh, for this. Um, you can, of course, screw up the game. I, I, I'll, I'll confess to you, I recorded a video of this a few minutes ago and I recorded the wrong size window, so I had to re-record it all again. So there were things I encountered there that were entertaining to me then, uh, like that, <laughs> that I want to showcase here, just so you know. That is the malfunction. That's the only malfunction code you'll get. I didn't have the sophistication to say if you try to load something that it tells you, hey, that file doesn't exist. No, it just gives you one standard error message. Program mal fucked up. Um, and I, the reason I find that entertaining is I know for a fact that that code remains in existence, not in Stop the Saturnians, but as late as Caverns of Zeskazian 2. If it tries to do something it's not supposed to do, that's the error message it, it spits out. Program mal fucked up is still in there to this day you know, decades and decades afterwards, because some of the code, of course, just got copied and pasted over the years, and then the next, uh, the next thing we are um, working on. Let's just do a directory.p. This is hard to read, of course, at 320 by 200, but you can see things like um, anything .dhl, bbb. This would be the I mentioned in DHL video. I made the fonts for DHL. This would be the font I made. This would be the letter B I made. That would have to be loaded as a graphics. Apparently, it's so that'd be the small graphic, of course. If it's only 21 bytes, even the small font you saw in DHL was something I made by hand in this. That's a. This is, of course, the season of the scythe folder. So that's the sound effect it would have made when you stepped in the water. Back in the day, um, anything else we should see here? This was something I made for Ten Nights of Killing a Mayhem uh, at FJB2. That apparently made it into this. I don't know why it's there. I don't know what it is. Map editor, I, I'll show you that later. That's uh, the map editor I made to edit maps for Season of the Scythe. We'll take a look at that on another day. Most of this is, of course, just graphics. You see a lot of ornaments. Jesus, ornament 80. There's 80 ornaments I made, apparently, for this. Uh, that's the title screen, I guess. Title Z1. I don't know what that is. Um, let's find out, actually, um, by pressing, what was it, uh, 13 art. <clears throat> if you're wondering why it's called 13 art, um, as I said, I made, I made art before this, um, which was 640 by 480, 16 color only, which in computer ease is mode 12H. Uh, 13 art uses 256 color, 320 by 200, which in computer ease is mode 13H, which is why it's called 13 art. What was it we were going to load? That's my fucking memory. How, how, I have like less than, I have like three bytes of memory in, in my human brain. What the hell was I going to load? What the hell was I going to, if you press Q, you quit. Let's find out again. Blank dot sin, I'm a little curious about. Hand dot, hand one dot sin, 4097, I'm curious about that. Or an 80, I want to know. Title Z1. I should write this stuff down for myself. Uh, not exit. Uh, what was this? Uh, 13 hurt. Load. Oh, hand one. Dot sin. Mm, 4097. Oh, that was the hand. Of course, that was the graphic I made to let you shoot uh, your little pistol in the game. Of course, that's what that is. Um, title Z1. Dot sin. Is that right? I, I think... <laughs> I'm going to guess that originally I was working on some graphics. You know what, you know what this would have been, I think? If you remember the title screen in Season of the Scythe, um, there was sort of a grass field with a moon in the sky. I think I was going to animate silhouettes chasing you, and this probably was my initial drawing of that. An attempt at a drawing for that. 
that obviously never got used, thank God. But that's probably supposed to be a zombie, roughly. Like the silhouette of a zombie. That's probably what's stuck up above the grass. I don't know. That's guesswork. 25 years. Um, the last thing I want to see is load Orn 80, just to know what the last ornament I worked on apparently was. I'm assuming I did them in order. I don't know what that before. A uh, little blue strip of something. I have no idea why I would have wanted that, what, that, what purpose that would have served in the game. I don't know. Interesting. Anyways, the last thing I will show you, let's load, um, fucking wall, wall 33, if, if such a thing exists. Apparently it does, that's the hedgerow. If you wanted to save the game, just so you know, um, you'd have to go, like, here and press, like, S. Let's do it right now. S. And you'd have to go over to where you wanted to save it. Um, it's actually one to, one X coordinate to the right of what you want. So if, instead of 163 by 163, I think we needed 164 by 163. Let's go to there. You left click without moving your mouse. Of course, you move your mouse, you're screwed up. No, it's not even enough. Maybe it's 164 by 164, I think is what it was, where, where it should have been. And let's just call this file name messed up. Dot sin. And there you go. doesn't even give you a message that you saved it, but if we looked in the directory now, there would be a messed up dot sin. And that is the total functionality of 13 art. Um, I remember in art, there was things like press B for bar, and then you could like go to here and click it and it would draw like a square of that size or, or press L for line you'd click like here and to here and it would draw a straight line I think I think I remember doing that in, in the original art program but in the previous video I made of this for you that you will never see um, I tested all of that and none of it worked so um, no other key on the keyboard seemed to do anything you had color you had C for color L for load S for save and Q for quit and that is the sum total of today's video C15 You can tell what that is easier than you can tell what my zombie was anyway. That's something. <laughs> and now we have to wait, of course, to get out of this and click stop on the OBS recorder anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for walking down memory lane with me. I'll be back with more, well, obviously more roguelikes, obviously more State of Decay 2, and uh, eventually more um, random bullshit that I find in folders that somehow have persisted for decades across all of my computers, which I find fascinating and hope that you do too. See you later.